Mantero has recently partnered with Sparsense, a developer of leading-edge signal processing algorithms. Together we have developed a short overview of how sparse representations are used in image and signal processing applications. Research has shown that we utilize around 10,000 neurons to code 1 million pixel images at 20 frames per second in our brain. This is a compression ratio of 100 times. This makes it possible to interpret very noisy images like this. We recognize the objects of the image. Observations of how our brain processes visual and other sensory information was the genesis for developing mathematical algorithms that can be applied to image and signal processing applications for a variety of industries. So let's see a simplified example of how sparse representations work. We will start with a set of building blocks, each having a unique color and length. This allows us to know the length of the building block simply by observing the color. A unique signal is created by arranging the building blocks. This signal and accompanying noise is then sampled whereby every third pixel was measured and the color recorded. Let's rotate the signal such that we can observe how each of the building blocks are arranged spatially to create it. There are two red blocks that comprise pixels 1 through 3 and 17 through 19. The blue block occupies pixels 4 through 10 and the green pixels 11 through 16. To create the sparse representation of the red blocks, we consider all of the possible arrangements of red blocks for the 19 pixel signal. We note that only two locations are included in the signal, and these columns are signified with a weight of 1. All other possible locations are indicated with a weight of 0. This is the sparse representation for the red signal. For the full signal, the sparse representation has four non-zero values, and the rest are 0. When combined, we can recreate the original signal. If we take our noisy sample from earlier and compute the sparse representation from this input, the only viable result is the original signal. Signals and images in nature are highly redundant. Highly redundant signals are very compressible and therefore have a sparse representation. Examples range from images, speech, sound, and in general, any signal that has a pattern. The sparse representation is a highly compressed form of a signal which is well suited for transmission and storage. Since a random noise does not have structure, it is readily filtered out of the signal. Unlike traditional filters, this noise reduction does not cause changes in structure such as distortion or blurred edges when applied to video or images. Highly compressed images or signals can readily be recreated from the sparse representations with low computational cost. Another way to understand how sparse representation works is to take the example of an audio signal and its frequency spectrum, as shown by the Fourier transform. The same signal can be represented as a Nyquist sample signal in the traditional way from which identical Fourier coefficients can be computed. More interestingly, we can compute the same Fourier coefficients from a smaller random sample of the signal with sparse representation-based signal processing. There are many applications that can benefit from signal processing techniques that incorporate sparse representations of signals. It is possible to decrease the image acquisition times of medical imaging, such as MRI machines, using these techniques. This enables applications such as minimally invasive MR video-guided surgery. Another example is ultrasound imaging, where these algorithms can eliminate noise and improve automatic organ recognition and tracking. Sparse representation techniques can be used for many signal compression applications where small size and low cost of signal decompression are an advantage. Many other applications can benefit from sparse representation-based algorithms including noise elimination, pattern recognition, handwriting recognition, speech recognition, speaker recognition, object recognition and tracking, and many more. The patent-pending technology developed by Sparsense uses state-of-the-art, sparse representation-based algorithms to solve real-world problems. Sparsense algorithms are unique in that they are able to work efficiently in a highly parallel processing environment. This parallelism makes it possible to quickly process million-pixel images. Sparsense technology is ideally suited for real-time signal processing applications. Sparsense algorithms are, are also able to learn the optimal set of sparse building blocks for a signal type by observing signals without any supervision. 
If you would like to discuss an application that could benefit from algorithms that utilize sparse representations, then please give us a call or send an email. Additional information about Mantero service and products can be found on our website or by contacting us directly.